My dear friends in Christ, welcome to this Palm Sunday reflection. Today we join the Palm Sunday crowd in spirit to declare our loyalty to Christ and our fidelity to his teachings by actively participating in the Palm Sunday liturgy. As we carry the palm leaves to our homes, we are declaring our choice to accept Jesus as the king and ruler of our lives, our homes, our families. Let's express our gratitude to Jesus for redeeming us by his suffering and death through our active participation in the Holy Week liturgy and our reconciliation with the God and his church repenting of our sins and receiving God's pardon and forgiveness through Jesus, through his church. William Penn said, no pain, no palm, no thorns, no throne, no gall, no glory, no cross, no crown. Remembering that quotation, we make our journey with the palms in our hand, with Jesus. Constantine the Great was the first Christian Roman emperor. His father, Constantius I, who succeeded Diocletian as emperor in 300 AD, was a pagan with a soft heart for Christians. When he ascended the throne, he discovered that many Christians held important jobs in the government and in the court. So he issued an executive order to all those Christians, either give up Christ or give up your jobs. The great majority of the Christians gave up their jobs rather than disowning Christ. Only a few cowards gave up their religion rather than lose their jobs. The emperor was pleased with the majority who showed the courage of their convictions and gave their jobs back to them saying, if you will not be true to your God, you will not be true to me either. Smooth roads never make a good drive. Clear skies never make a good pilot. Calm seas never make a good fisherman. Trouble-free family never make good parents. Problem-free business never make a good manager. Crisis-free situations never make a good leader. Life is a challenge, let's face it. The Palm Sunday invites us to face that challenge of life. Today, Christians celebrate Palm Sunday as they walk through the procession and show their courage and conviction of the faith. Christ entered in triumph into his own city to complete his work as a Messiah to suffer, to die, and to rise again. The triumphal entry celebrated at the beginning of the Passion Week emphasizes that the three elements, suffering, death, and resurrection, belong together. Jesus' death was not a defeat. It was a victory. It was the genuine insight of Christianity that the events of Jesus' earthly life were meant to enable the execution of God's saving purpose. This genuine insight should be ours, also concerning our own lives when suffering strikes us. There's a biography of a man who was one of the most learned people of his generation. He had two PhDs one in philosophy, another in theology. Further, he was a world-class musician 
and a concert and the concert halls around the world were sold out when he went on a tour then to the surprise of everyone he decided he wanted to go to a medical college to earn another doctoral degree in medicine as soon as he had his medical degree left the comfortable surroundings of western europe and went into the jungles of africa there he cleared away part of a jungle began building a clinic and a hospital once these were built he started providing medical care to the young and old of africa many years later dr albert schweister won the nobel peace prize for his ministry of healing in the jungles of africa when he accepted the nobel peace prize he shared with that distinguished crowd in stockholm the reason he had built a hospital in africa the reason was summed up he stated in the first words he always said to his native patients as they awakened from an operation he would say the reason that you have no more pain is because the lord jesus told the good doctor and his wife to come to the banks of ogus river and help you if you owe thanks to anyone you owe to the lord jesus he accepted the challenge to be a humble servant of jesus christ and this is our challenge this is your challenge this is my challenge in this holy week look beyond your needs the needs of others and you will be on the road to being a humble servant of jesus christ life is full of ups and downs glorify god during the ups and fully trust in him during the downs someone wrote gods and hours together life is a journey journey together ever since adam and eve were chosen to make a journey of disobedience and hiding away from the maker human kind has been making this journey away and back to paradise either making their own paradises or refusing to enter god's houses abraham leaving haran and traveling towards canaan through prophets and judges and kings so we are constantly being reminded of the return journey beyond the captivities of egypts and babylons deserts and green pastures bethlehems and jordans fishing nets and tax counters wells and valleys sheep folds and vineyards temples and synagogues the lord perhaps will meet us as at the well or at the market place or at the last supper or on our way to Emmaus in 2004 mel gibson's the passion of jesus christ created waves worldwide worldwide for its pathos and power on viewing it many cold christians faith was rekindled One of the most wonderful witnesses of the passion is Father Krishna Das from India who on September 2nd 1997 was beaten stripped and paraded naked in Dumka North India his passion continues since he is unjustly convicted for fabricated crimes Krishna Das testifies I couldn't bear the humiliation and pain until suddenly I felt one with Jesus who suffered everything and even more than myself therefore I surrendered 
it is the nature of the strong heart that like the palm tree it strives ever upwards when it is most burdened the journey of god extending his hand that michelangelo once drew was accepted in mary another journey begins in receptivity obeying god's commandments moving from nazareth to bethlehem to egypt to nazareth to jordan to kafarnaum and finally to calvary that journey has to go through jerusalem the city of peace the temple city where the sacrifice war has to be offered as a sin offering purification and redemption that is the journey that we are called to be part of to redeem ourselves our fa- families and our world beyond the hosannas and jeers beyond the help of simons and veronica it's our own journey we steadfastly undertake maybe we never reach kena let the journeying with purpose and commitment give us the fulfillment let us pray on this day of great rejoicing lord jesus christ when we welcome you as our king and savior we also walk in the shadow of your cross hosanna we cry blessed are you who come in god's name to save us hosanna strengthen our faith on the palm sunday so that when the time comes to carry the cross we might still call out to you with heartfelt praise give us the grace and the courage to follow you this holy week from death to resurrection from darkness to the fullness of light we need you and we honor you a lord and master jesus christ our lord hosanna in the highest god bless you